Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Paladin, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Yesterday, not only did we go to Perplexing Pool for the first time and acquire a new kind of Pikmin, Yellow Pikmin, but we were able to raise their numbers up to high 70s, 80s, so they're off to a great start. This time, we're going to be going back to the Perplexing Pool. Except, we're not. I got a crazy thought at the end of last episode, or yesterday, that we were going to go back to Awakening Wood. And this is a little bit different, and it's a very ambitious day. But we're going to be going back to the Awakening Wood. And, uh, you know what? I'm not going to explain any further until we actually land. Because this is going to be an ambitious day. I, I have no clue if we can actually do it, but I want to try. So let's land in Awakening Wood, shall we? So, many times, after I acquire a new variant of Pikmin, I like to spend an, an additional day, or the following day, raising up their numbers. But this time, I have a very, like I said, a very ambitious plan. Alright, let's start. So, we have yellow Pikmin, correct? Now, in other days, probably visible on screen, was this gate which is the thing blocking us from getting to the other variant of Pikmin, which are blue Pikmin. Now that gate is electrified. Now, we haven't encountered electricity as a hazard yet, but it insta-kills any Pikmin that touches it, making it by far the most dangerous hazard except for crushing. So, now that we have yellow Pikmin and they're immune to this electricity, we can go here. So I would like to do that. However, that's not the entirety of my plan. After acquiring these blue Pikmin, I want to build their numbers up a tiny bit. And then, I want to take a crew over here into this cave. A couple days ago, we were over here and we saw that there were some ultra bitter berries. But there's also an electric gate. And that leads to a hole, which is not really meant to be encountered yet. So it's kind of above the quote-unquote skill curve. And I want to try and reach it. Alright, that is our plan. Let's execute it. Uh, let's grab... 20? 25 yellows, actually. 25. That sounds... that sounds reasonable. 25 yellows. Okay, 30... Reds, I think. And then... Just for utility's sake. Five? Five purples. This is very odd. Five purples. And you know what? Actually, let's take out some more reds. Up to 50. Is that good? Yes, that is. That's decent. Alright, so now with these new numbers, let's go this way. I would like to avoid everything. Well, actually, no. I need to kill that. Uh... Yeah, okay. We'll kill this. Swarm it, and it's dead. And then we're going to be leaving that alone. And then there's the electric gate, which I wanted to tackle. I have to be kind of careful because there is a... A, uh... Whatchamacallit there. Forgot their name. Cloaking Baronet. In case it isn't obvious, whenever I can't come up with the name of a Pikmin... Or, not a Pikmin, of an enemy off the top of my head... Oh, actually, you would be useful. You know what, actually, let's throw everyone up. Let's throw everyone up. I, I actually pause and look up the name. So, I don't know all these off the top of my head. It has been a while since I've played Pikmin 2. Especially because I wanted to let's play it eventually. And so I kept myself fairly blind to it. Uh, let's leave Louie here. Hello. Oh, okay, cutscene. Yes. Yes, there are blue Pikmin. We know. We know. You don't, you don't need to linger. But aren't they beautiful? They have they have mouths and lips. And they're doing a fantastic job of killing that tadpole. Look, look there! Wild blue pigmen are chasing prey near the water's edge. Perhaps by observing these wild specimens, we can understand more about their true nature. Or not, I mean, it's not that important. Sting! 
I apologize. I was momentarily entranced by them. Now, back to work. Okay. We know what the... The ship likes. Oh, you're... You ran away. And... He's dead. Alright. This gate can only be touched by yellow, so I need to be quite careful that I don't throw any other color. That would be so bad, especially because purples are next in the lineup. And there. All right, so while that is happening... Oh, there's another yellow. Go there. Now that, while that is happening, let's take the rest of the Pikmin. A, defeat any enemies that are in our path, like that guy there. That will be for the blues. Okay, while he stuns, finish him off. There we go. And that Pikmin survives, even though it was impaled by a nose, it still survives. And now I can throw the rest of the Pikmin up here, where they will wait for the most of the where yeah. I, if I can talk, where they can wait for the rest of the day until we can go into that cave there. That is the Bullblax Kingdom. One of my favorite caves, actually. Also, I didn't notice that there was rust here. See that? It's kind of foreshadowing to what is in the cave. That's neat. But that is the Bullblax Kingdom, one of my favorite caves. It has fantastic music, and it is quite memorable for a new en enemy that it introduces, which I am frightened to death of. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's energize these guys. Make this go a little bit faster. Now, if I touch this gate, I will be hurt, which would be bad. I mean, it's, I wouldn't want to be hurt. That would be not good. Okay, once this is down, then we can go through, leave the yellows right here. Actually, no, Louie, get over here. Yeah, you stay here. I'll have Louie move over and take them over to the, the gate after I unleash this cutscene. At last, you have encountered them! They seem to have gill-like ducks on their cheeks. They must be blue, Pikmin! Like the other types, they look for, look to you for direction. While they are indeed surviving naturally, they still seem to long for a valiant leader. We have yellow Pikmin- or yellow. We have blue Pikmin! I know colors, I learned them. Oh, oops. Uh, you, get on that. You, get on this. Uh, you guys, do that. And while that happens... Louie! Oh, no, 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 don't take them to the water. We'll take the yellows over here and have them work on the gate. Actually, come to think of it, this isn't as ambitious of a day as I thought it would be. It's just kind of... It's kind of... Easy. I guess. I thought it would be a little bit harder, but uh, it's fine. I can, I can make this work. I can make it be dramatic. Alright. Take our yellows and only our yellows up here. It's kind of difficult to take large groups of Pikmin up this ramp, but I can manage. Set them on that gate, switch back to Olimar, and start plucking Pikmin. Uh, four. So, uh, put them on that. And then pluck some stuff. Cool, they got the the wog pole. I, the, now I remember the name. Those are wog poles. They are tadpole wallywogs, but they can't hurt Pikmin. So I, I don't harbor the same hatred for them that I do their their parents. Where is that wog pole? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I just kind of like to throw random Pikmin in random directions, and eventually they'll kill it. It's not really that important to me. Eh, let's speed this up. It is kind of hard because they bl it blends into the surroundings very well. Okay, the rest of you... Oh, well, one of you can go on that. Seven of you can go on this. Or eight, okay. It takes eight. And then... 
yeah, we can get these numbers up pretty quick. Now, Blue Pikmin... I, I know I've been kind of rating Pikmin on a power scale or a tier list of sorts. And it's, it's really not my intent to say, oh, this Pikmin is bad. You don't need to... You don't need to farm it or or produce more because they're all useful in their own right I mean obviously there isn't a Pikmin where you get it and you say oh well you, you never need this at all uh, but still there are Pikmin that are better than others I wouldn't say that the three main variants blues reds and yellows are more or less better or worse than each other I mean if you think of the reds they obviously fight better than anything else besides purples and that's great, but you're not always fighting. I mean, here, I'm, I have barely fought, and the 1.5 times damage isn't that huge. You're still, it's not like there are going to be enemies that you just can't defeat. So, while there are Pikmin that's like, oh yeah, these are, these are better, it's, they're not that much better. Although, I would say that the yellow Pikmin, which we got yesterday, are very good, if I can put that lightly. Because the um, the uh, hazard that they are immune to is an insta-kill. No other hazard, other than crushing, is an insta-kill. So, technically, you could... And, and I, have the, I have done this in the past. Oh, cave. I have done this in the past. I've led parties of 100 yellow Pikmin into caves that I knew had poison, fire, and water hazards in them. Because I knew that I could just whistle them out of it and be fine. But the electricity, you can't whistle Pikmin out of. Not in this game. In Pikmin 3, you can, but not in this one. So, you have at last reached the higher ground. Congratulations are in order. Wait, what is this? My seismic sensors are picking up tremors deep below. What forces at work in the depths of the planet? Who knows? Okay, so Louie, you can just chill here for the rest of the day. Also, the day's almost over. Really? That's... that's special. Okay. Uh, 21... wait, do we only have 45 yellows? I think that's counting what's not in... Or it's it's counting what's in the onion. So... Also, yes, I see the Carmex container. It, I'm not pulling another strawberry. I, I know it's there. I'm just kind of ignoring it for the time being. I also saw the paint container, but I'm ignoring treasures right now, because I don't need them, necessarily. Oh, those those are more valuable. Okay. So, we'll take care of these bu these dwarf bulb orbs. Um, nice. We'll take care of these. And then the pellet posies. And then, after that, then I can go get the cave. Ah, I missed also, I have not talked about this. So, for Peliposies, the color they are actually matters. Uh, the If you get a Pikmin to produce, I guess, carry back a color Peliposie that matches its color, it will produce more Pikmin than if you just carried back a random color. So, it's, it's worth my while to get those colors. Okay, uh, one here, one there, and is... Has that thing grown yet? No, it has not. There's a 20 pellet posy that will grow over there, and it just hasn't shown up yet. Which is odd, but I guess it shows up on later days. This is only day six, so certain things will not show up until later days. Okay, it's almost towards the end of the day, so I guess I'll... You know what, fine. I'll carry this back because it's off the beaten path. I'll carry back this Mario Paint container. It's interesting that it's Mario Paint. It's also, I believe, floating above the ground, which I didn't look a look at, but it is. Alright, so once that is back, then I'll carry the rest of the Pikmin back to Louie, and then we will go into the Bulblax Kingdom, if I have time. I hope I have time. I really do. Uh, I'm kind of worried about this. Here, Louie, 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 you can help with this. You can definitely help. Throw... Wait, can I get up there? No, I can't. Looks like I could get up there. Okay, just throw some Pikmin there. Olimar, you grab them. And put them on the, the Mario paint. 
Now that actually leads me to talk about something that I found out for the first time. Ryan mentioned to me the other day about how the the textures of all of these treasures would be different in other territories. I mean, think about it. It makes sense. Oh, I, I need to be sending Olimar over here. It makes sense. If you are in Japan, obviously, if Carmex or Duracell is not a, a brand that you're familiar with, then they're going to be changing that to include a brand that you are. And I didn't think about that. I honestly never had. So I was wondering, wait a minute. What if there are treasures that simply don't appear in other area or in other uh other nations and so that led me to do a little bit of digging and what i found was that there are actually a lot of treasures that are completely and utterly different in other countries uh you know what let's do it this way let's throw oh treasure so there, this one, for example, is not actually Mario Paint, if I recall, but instead a different treasure. If I can put it on screen, I will. And also in the, the video description, Future Pal, please put a link to all of the regional differences between the games, because it's actually quite interesting. Now, a lot of the treasures are actually just noodle cups, which seems like kind of a cop-out, or noodle, noodle cup lids. A lot of them are just noodle cup lids, and... Uh, from like the the instant noodles that you see in Japan. I, I believe there are around four different variants of noodle cup lids that in the American version they actually replaced with other things. Okay, uh, I need to check. Before I go into this cave, the 14 Pikmin that are free are at the base, correct? Yes. So there are none, no others. All right, let's go in the cave. How many blues do we have? 44. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad for a first day of a color. Okay, let's go. Oh, also, the Carmex container is also different. The Duracell battery has been retextured. And it's not just retexturing. Some of them have completely different models. There are also a couple of treasures that have different prices as well. Or not prices, but worth. Value Pogo worth which I'll be talking about the, the single treasure that has a different worth when we come across it. It's just kind of interesting. All right. Now that it's the end of the day, oh boy, we're going into the Bullblack's Kingdom with 84 Pikmin because I don't have time to bring the rest of the squad. Although, you know what? Yes. Yes, I do. I, I totally do. No, I don't. Never mind. Okay. Let's go inside. <laughs> I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not sure. Into the Bullblack's Kingdom we go, kind of out of sequence. We're not meant to be here yet, but it will be definitely interesting. Oh boy. Oh, mate. Uh, run! Run! Oh, okay. Okay. That was. This is the final boss. Of Pikmin 1. Last we saw this, it was in the final trial, and it held the uh, uh, the piggy bank. I forgot what it's called. 